I don't even know what just happened. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm actually very surprised this happened. Like, Who cares if it's bad quality or not? I don't care. DeMarcus Cousins. Hear me straight. I'm not even lying at all. I'm not even lying. DeMarcus Cousins signed not five, not four, not three, not two. A one-year deal. Just, just a slight one-year deal with the Lakers. Get this straight. Get this straight. Not only he's with the Lakers, but he's reunite he's reuniting with his two boys again. Rondo the Turtle and the Unibrow Davis. Anthony Davis. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know why he's doing that, but don't care. I knew this was gonna happen because after Kawhi went to the Clippers and Paul George well, Paul George got traded, so Westbrook wants traded. He does. I'm not even lying. Look it up. Literally, look it up. There's Google. Well, there's some rumors, but it, some fr is from a report, from this report and other stuff or whatever. But I knew this was going to happen because ever since Kawhi went to the Clippers, they knew they had their chance now because... Since everybody didn't want to go after Cousins, it was their chance because they needed a center anyways. They resigned Javel, they resigned Rondo, it's just crazy. And they signed Codwell Pope. It's just crazy how that happens. Their starting lineup is Rondo, D. I'm not going to tell you. Rondo, maybe Codwell Pope, maybe. Well, I'm just kidding. Not a baby. Okay, so Rondo, Codwell, Pope, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins. You might be asking, why did I not say the actual starting shooting guard? Because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you soon. Like, soon is soon. Well, actually, I might do another one today. So, I'm going to probably do three videos today. Well, uh, this is my second one. I'm going to be doing. My third one is going to be maybe in a few hour, another few hours, maybe. Maybe around maybe 9 or 10 o'clock. Don't know. No idea. So, Cousins, why a one-year deal? Like, they could have just, well, I can see it now because, like, I can now see that because, like, Anthony Davis and, Anthony Davis and Cousins are free agents. Well, and plus, I'm not saying they probably want to go after a big, big free agent again, like, bring back Ingram. Well, they probably could do that. Maybe if they don't want to resign Cousins. They could probably, yeah, they could probably bring back Ingram if they don't resign Cousins and just resign back Anthony Davis or whatever. That's just what I think. So, and I said earlier about the Kawhi thing and the Paul George thing, I still said the Lakers are still a title contender. They're still going to be the 2020 NBA champions. Look at the big three. Okay, the big three of both those LA teams are great. You got Kawhi, you got Cousin, I mean, you got Kawhi, you got Paul George, and you got DeMarcus Cousins. And then for the Lakers, you got LeBron, AD, and DeMarcus Cousins. I'm not, I like, I don't like the Lakers. I like the Clippers, kind of, a little bit. But. But let's like, but let's like rank them. Okay, so LeBron against Kawhi. LeBron's obviously better than him by career wise. By career wise, Anthony Davis against Paul George. It's a tough one, but I'm obviously gonna say Anthony Davis just for career wise, because Anthony Davis will like get his ways in and out and whatever. Paul George, and plus, like, Anthony Davis has been getting, like, more defensive, 
defensive ends and whatever. Like he's been more like he's has been more like MVP candidates, more NBA defensive first teams, more like more of that, more of this, and like more like points averaged than like him. And like yeah, it's it's just that like it's just that's just what I think. Like I, and then cousins against Lou Williams. Obviously it has to be DeMarcus Cousins career wise. Obviously it's all DeMarcus Cousins that no ain't no comparisons at all. No comparisons. And guess what? That's a sweep. That's a big, massive sweep. That's the biggest sweep I've ever seen. Technically, none of those can't beat the Lakers. But it will be fun to watch, and it will be very competitive. I'm just happy now the league this year is going to be balanced. Because it's with, like, because there's going to be now a lot of teams with, like, two or three superstars on it. Or maybe all stars that could turn into superstars. Like, it's crazy. I am I know the Cavaliers are not going to. They need to trade Kevin Love. That's just what I want. It's JR free agent because if he's not, then just trade him. But if he is, trade him! <sighs> and, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching. I'm just kidding. Thank you for watching.